Hey guys, and welcome back to VAD Vsauce. I'm Natalie. And I'm Will. And in today's video, we have 11 Goodwill secrets, tips and tricks for resellers and thrifters. So let's get right into it. Tip number one. So with this tip, it's when to go to your thrift stores. And in our opinion, what we found is the best days to go is during the week. Typically like Tuesday, Wednesday is our favorite days. Now this will vary depending on your stores, your location, where you're at and how they do things. But in our eyes, what we've seen on weekends, a lot of people have off. So obviously they like to go shopping to spend their hard earned money. So there is a lot more competition, whether they're resellers, thrifters, or just looking for themselves. So that's why we prefer to stick to the weekdays. Mm -hmm. To follow up on that tip number two, what time is it better to go to the thrift stores? And this is the case of early bird does get the worm. So right as they open, they typically have new racks already out or they just put out the new racks right before they open. So there's new stuff around the thrift store. So you want to be there early so you get, you know, the new stuff that just came off the back. But also we had an employee tell us a little extra secret that every employee has a certain amount of new racks that they have to put out into the store during their shift. So you've got the morning shift obviously when they open to like late afternoon and then you have those that come in the afternoon and then close so everyone has a certain amount of racks in this particular store it was three racks per person and every rack is 100 items that they had to put out so when they open they put them out and then throughout that shift and then the next crew comes in at 12 30 p.m again that particular store and then they take out the new rack when they arrive at the goodwill also a mini tip that we have only discovered a few times is actually right before they close that new racks were put out because they were trying to restock the store for the next day now we don't normally go that late in the day so we don't have too much experience with it but when we have gone that late we have been lucky and tip number three always check the putback rack Natalie has found a ton of stuff on this rack and with this rack if you don't know this is the rack that people put all the stuff that they try on in the dressing rooms on the rack for the Goodwill employees to put back on the shelves. You can find a lot of good brands like this because these are items that people have handpicked from the store. Not all brands are going to be what you're looking for, but these are items that didn't fit them for a particular reason or they just didn't like them on and so they put them back. So it's a really great way of just finding some little gems that were handpicked by someone else in the store before you got to them. Tip number four is just be nice to the Goodwill employees and other shoppers because you never know where that relationship might go just be respectful and you know a decent human being because that's how some google employees ended up telling us some of these secrets about how many racks they put out when they put them out also i've even had some employees come up to me with an item is this something that you are interested in and i'm like either yes or no and also other people that you see in the store, they might find something that they give to you instead of keeping it for themselves for whatever reason that might be. Tip number five, this one low key is one of my favorites. It's check the kids section. Sometimes Goodwill pricers, they mistake smaller clothing for kids clothing when it's actually women's or men's. Natalie has found Lululemon, mm -hmm. Athleta, Gymshark, Gym Shark. Gym Dogs. The size isn't always the best, small, extra small, but it passes as a child's clothing and they mark it as so. What is the price at our store? $2.29 for kids clothing versus $4.89 for adult clothing. So you get some real nice savings for your profit or mm -hmm. for yourself. And also just check every section of the store because things are misplaced all the time so we have found so many men's pants in the women's pants section all right tip number six the return policy so every goodwill has a return policy that might differ from location to location so make sure you read the sign that is in your local goodwill ours has a return policy of i believe it's four days and you have to have the receipt which is pretty national i believe to have the receipt and then our goodwill also has this tag with the little plastic thing that is you know 
put into the fabric of the clothing, you must have this one still attached to the item in order to return it. So make sure if, if your Goodwill also has this, it has to still be on. And in terms of the hard goods or the shoes, they typically have a price sticker. That sticker needs to still be attached to the item as well in order for you to return it. Tip number seven. This one is know the sale days. So whether it's Wednesdays are senior citizen day, Friday half off the whole entire store that's red color. Know your sale days. This is a great way for you to slash the cost of goods in half or 10% off and every little bit adds up and helps for the business or your personal wallet. Our Goodwill only does senior citizen and military. There's a lot of Goodwills across the country that have those colored sale days. I wish ours would take part. I guess they don't because the prices are already low enough. Prices at Goodwill is so different from city to city, location to location, state to state. It's insane. There is no national price for the Goodwill store. So you can be lucky living in an area where there's really low prices or unlucky living in an area where the prices are ridiculous, to put it lightly. A viewer said, don't ever come to California. <laughs> <laughs> Tip number eight. Not all Goodwills are the same. It depends on the location in terms of what they're selling more of. So it's kind of like Goodwill specializes in a certain category. That doesn't mean they don't have any other categories, but they have mostly just clothing and then some shoes and some hard goods, or they have mostly hard goods with a little bit of clothes on the side. So Goodwill has a system where when they scan the items, when you pay for them, they either have, oh, they sold hard goods, they sold clothes, they sold shoes, and then they do research on this. And whichever store sells more of a certain category, they're gonna go, aha, we're gonna transport donations to that particular store of that category because that's where they sell more of it. Number nine, inspect your items. When you have your items, look up, they have these lights, go directly under one of them, Put it on a rack or something like that and pull it out just so you could see if there's any stains, tears, anything like that. Because I swear they make these thrift stores designed to have dim lighting so that you miss all the imperfections in the clothing that you're about to buy. Yeah, so a lot of clothes look great when you just look at it on the rack when it's hanging down. Once you kind of pull the item out so the light is shining directly onto the surface of the item, that's when you start to see, oh, it's got oil stains. It's got a stain here. It even has a little rip there. So literally take your time in the store to do this because the worst thing is coming back home and you cut off the tags, so you can't even return it. And then you find the stains and they don't go away and wash and now you're stuck with it. Tip number 10. So you can get a little bit creative here for the folks of you who like to maybe design your own clothes. If you have a good little bins near you where everything is sold by weight, you can find sweatshirts and hoodies by good brands. Maybe you find Carhartt or Adidas or Nike and you kind of just cut them up and mix them together and create really cool, unique pieces for yourself versus, you know, getting the material yourself and then making all the sleeves and the body. No, it's already pre-made because these are already clothing items that you just kind of detach and then put together again in a different way. Tip number 11, it should be the most obvious, but it is the most effective. Shop often and be consistent. I can't say it enough that consistency is truly one of the major factors of being a successful reseller. And if you would just want to find cool stuff for yourself, you're giving yourself more opportunities to find the good stuff. Mm -hmm. Goodwill stores put up over a thousand new items every single day. So you will find new stuff every time that you go, even if you go later in the day. All right, guys, that sums up today's 11 Google secrets slash tips and tricks. Hopefully you learned a thing or two and found this video helpful. As always, thank you so much for watching until the end of the video. And don't forget to leave that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps out the channel. And we'll see you guys on the next one.